I've lost my mojo. Oh, it's okay. Here it is. Yes, folks, another unboxing today and a Vax. First of all, have a peruse at this is a Vax Mojo 2. Not a spectacular vacuum, nothing special, just a very basic Chinese made bagged vacuum cleaner that I saw on eBay recently and thought, oh yes, I'd like one of those. Now, again, it's based on looks. This is quite unusual in a way when this was in the shops not that long ago because most vacuum cleaners, especially at budget end uh, of the price spectrum, come with black tools, black hose or a silver color hose, but mainly black at the budget end. But the reason I liked the look of the Mojo 2, and I believe there was a Mojo and a Mojo 3 as well, is the fact that it has white or very light gray tools and it just set it apart from the run-of-the-mill cheap bagged cylinder. So I saw one of these pop up on eBay unused but not sealed and thought yes I'll give it a go. So uh, yes I can see through there and it's definitely unused and that doesn't seem a bad length of hose for a bag, uh, a cheap bagged vacuum. Anyway, let's pull off this unnecessary packaging. Don't really need that, do we? Anyway, ah, quite a nice curved hand grip there. And you've got your usual suction control swivels at the handle end and it should yeah, swivels at the cleaner end so yeah it does fit it feels pretty good actually you've got a little button to release the hose from the cleaner so there's that now this unusually nowadays only the very very cheapest budget cleaner has plastic wands um, the one I can think of at the moment is an Asda one Asda Essentials or an Asda smart price type machine that's got plastic tubes but most of the even cheap ones do at least have metal tubes but these do feel pretty good for a budget cleaner we've also got storage on there for I assume one of the tools I'm not sure what small tools this comes with and there's some sort of a bracket there so that could be for securing it to the cleaner somehow I'm not sure but a two-piece plastic set this is the main carpet and floor nozzle and underneath that is very similar to a SIBO uh, obviously this is not made by SIBO or made in Germany but that sort of shape reminds me of uh, a SIBO head that they used to they don't produce it now it was from the older SIBOs. So, pretty bog standard. Two little wheels at the front, two larger wheels at the back, and they do seem to have some sort of a tire. It's not just a hard plastic, there's a, there's a different type of plastic on those wheels. Not the best, <laughs> not the best quality though. Litter pickers either side of the nozzle, and Fixed brushes. I believe this is suitable for carpets and hard floors. Um, oh yes, it does actually have a. It does have a pedal. Ah, oh, so the brushes do retract. So carpet mode with the brushes up, and hard floor mode with the brushes slightly down. Not much of a difference, but there is a slight difference. And you've got your little parking bracket there. Um, it should have a storage part on the cleaner. It might have a parking slot as well. We'll soon find out. There should be at least one other tool with this. Oh, that's fantastic. It actually has some more bags. I have been looking online for bags for this. Oh, they're tiny though. And you can actually get 
synthetic bags, which I probably will try with this. They're quite small. This is a very compact vacuum, but at least you get a few spares. One, well, three spare bags. That's not bad, is it? And I think it's a, yes, it's a double layered bag. You've got the outer paper and there is a, another filtration layer there. And there's a little bit of a, a seal to help keep the dust in when the bag's fitted. Can't, can't see the instructions at the moment. I'm assuming it had some. We've got the um, guarantee registration. I expect this had had a one year guarantee. Ah, I think this is the only other nozzle supplied. Very short dusting brush, not dusting brush, crevice tool, sorry. I've seen that design before on something. Can't remember what, but I've definitely seen that design. And a little brush. Not not as stiff as a little toothbrush type brush you get with some cleaners, like some of the Hoovers I've unboxed. A bit softer than that. I don't know if that's designed to stay on there. That actually fits onto the crevice tool. And we've got the cleaner, but I don't think we've got the instruction book. Oh, oh yes we, no. No, oh. well, there's a leaflet to extend your guarantee. But I can't see, which is a bit of a pity for a, one that was supposed to be new in the box, unless it's inside there. So don't count your chickens, Rog. Ah, and there's a bit of discoloration as well. On the wheels. Ah, it's got one of those, I like handles that's situated there. It's very dinky. I like a central handle. This has two carry handles though. We've also got one there. But for cleaning stairs, that handle is very balanced, very light. Pinky finger can lift it up, but a little bit of discoloration. Can you? I don't know if the camera's picking that up. A little bit of yellowing. I might, might, that might wipe off, you never know. It's definitely unused though. Well, we'll check the one telltale sign is the exhaust filter, which on this cleaner is situated here at the back. And these go black with carbon dust within a few minutes, or well, they certainly start to darken anyway, but yeah. I think this has been turned on to check it works, but it's just been briefly turned on, I expect. But being briefly turned on is better than not being turned on at all. That's what I say. At least it should be working if it's been checked. There is a helpline number here. 0870 606 1248. I wonder if that's still valid. So it's a VAX model V002. 06W50 220 240 volts 50 hertz it's a 1400 watt so completely illegal to be sold nowadays brand new anyway uh, made in china i said that did i and there's some more numbers 011682 and it's double insulated so here we have the little mojo and it's got a very slightly spring loaded handle there is some resistance when i move it to the up position and I think that's deliberate, which means it pops back down. I was just seeing, does this have variable speed? And I don't think it does. There may have been one though. There might have been a version with variable speed. It looked like it might have had variable speed because of the ridges around the on-off button. I thought it might have been one of those dual purpose buttons where you turn it on and off and then you can turn the dial. But no, that doesn't really move. So it seems to be a single speed motor. And the other button here is the auto cord rewind, of course. There is a parking slot on the back, which should fit the main carpet and floor nozzle. Yes, it does. So that will park there. And was there one on the back? I forgot to look. Oh yes, there is. 
got a swivel caster of course as the as well as the two back wheels and there is a slot there which fits that so I wonder what that bits for though without the um, instructions which is, that's a little bit disappointing that they're not in, not that you know I'm sure I'll be able to work it out somehow <laughs> but uh, I mean I think that needs moving up a bit but anyway so that can sit on like that but what's what's that bit for if I haven't told you by the end of the video it means I don't know so what's that bit for folks it obviously looks like it slots into something unless hmm, that fits into it ah perhaps ah yes look hang on oh <laughs> Oh, I'm not sure. Looks a bit awkward. Could be some sort of storage for that when you're not using it. It's a dinky little thing, isn't it? A very vibrant blue. Ideal for cleaning your stairs and your car, that sort of thing. I wouldn't, wouldn't clean a whole big five bedroom detached house with it. This would be a secondary cleaner. Or a cleaner just for a small flat or house. There is a little piston bag check indicator in the middle there. And inside here, we should have the bag that opens and stays open. It's a nice touch. Oh, we can actually see the gubbins, the workings of the bag check indicator. Just there in the middle of your picture now. The bag comes out, probably won't let me close it. Well, if I forced it, it might, but it's not supposed to close without a bag fitted. And we have another filter made of the, probably the same material as the exhaust filters made of. Probably can wash that. But obviously there's no, this is, this predates the old EU energy label. So we don't know what the dust emissions for this will be, but I'm saying, suggesting or guessing that there'll be Probably, I don't know, what does it go? A G, I think, is the last, uh, the worst rating now, is it? Anyway, I don't think it'll be very good. Especially with uh, a paper bag in it. Right, so it goes uh, in the cleaner with the arrow down. Just locate it at the bottom, push it forward. And then it should fit under that clip. Whoops. I think that's I think that's in oh and it's got one of these it's got one of these to keep the dust in now somebody in another video another cleaner I can't remember which one another cleaner I unboxed had this and somebody told me it looked like a something something well it looked like a cat's and then I won't say the second word because it's a bit rude I don't know what a cat's one of those looks like but maybe this is similar to a dog's one but anyway that's what it is. Let's uh, pop the old hose into position. I can't remember how much I paid for this, so if you ask, it wasn't a huge amount. Probably less than it would have been new in the shops. Um, I expect this was, well, this would have been around sort of 40, 45 pounds possibly if it was sold in the Argos catalogue. Now I suspect it's got a very short cable. A very substantial black plug. Isn't it a shame? It's spoilt. They could have had a plug and the cable to match the accessories, the hose and the tools. But never mind. I think it's got quite a strong action when I rewind this. I always like to press the button down. I don't know why. But... Oh, it's got those on it. Look, don't pull it past the red, little red sticker on there and then there's the amber one as well so I'll uh, rewind it a bit into the machine before I plug it in well it's plugged in and ready to go I've already had a bit of a preview because it was turned on and it's quite noisy so let's see how powerful the suction is <laughs> Oh. 
pretty good suck but then it's 1400 watts i think it will have some sort of suction relief valve because i could hear it kicking in when i was blocking the end of the hose another little touch which i think is good especially at the budget end is this little bar here this little metal piece that just prevents the plastic from being worn out even on some expensive german cleaners i've unboxed that have been used as time goes by and as the user is pulling out the cable it eventually wears out the plastic casing so having a little metal bar just helps to uh, stop that happening i've just thought what this sort of reminds me of it reminds me a bit of those japanese vacuums it reminds me a bit of a sanyo vacuum i don't know i think it's the color perhaps and the the light gray tools that make me think i'm sure i've seen a Sanyo branded cleaner just looks just this reminiscent of it so yeah I think that is the only tool I'm going to check the listing just to see if the instructions were shown and if so I'll contact the seller see what's happened to them but yeah that's um, seems to be the only tool that comes with it which fits onto there and then of course we can pop the old carpet and floor nozzle on It's quite a, um, quite a reasonable height, not too short, but of course, being fixed tubes, you can't change the height of this. You're stuck with it. No telescopic adjustment on this. thought so. thought so oh no I hadn't I thought I had it in the um, hard floor position and that was it felt good actually some you know it didn't it wasn't too hard to push and it wasn't too easy some of these really cheap cleaners especially the low energy cheap ones you can be pushing the nozzle on the carpet and it doesn't feel like there's any oomph there's no suction but this one it does feel does feel like it's got you know it's got a bit of power behind it and I can see it actually lifting the carpet a bit but it's not sticking to the carpet as as it would if it was one of these low energy things so yeah it's a it's an all right little machine it's a vax you know not the best for reliability and build quality but they are popular brand in the UK of vax in carpet washers especially uh, yeah I'm going to put a bit of dirt down. It's not my house I'm in, but as long as I clean it up, I think everything will be fine. Okay then, just a very quick mini test for this Vax Mojo 2. I'll just continue cleaning until hopefully I've removed everything. Well, it seems to have picked everything up, but my prediction that this cleaner wouldn't have been very good at filtration, I think has come true because I opened the bag compartment just to take another shot, a close up shot of the bag check indicator. And I noticed, as I will show you, how much dust, after that very small demo, how much dust has passed right through the bag and has entered the bag compartment. And if I take the bag out, oh yes, in this part as well, maybe hard to, harder to see, but yeah, there's dust in here, obviously. So yes, I think I will try it. I think the fleecy bags you can buy for this, they're not genuine vacs, but I think they'll certainly do better 
than these paper ones. Well, that's the end of my unboxing and very brief demo of the Vax Mojo 2 Bagged Cylinder Vacuum Cleaner. Did you have one of these? Did it last beyond the one year guarantee? Have you still got one? Are you still using one, perhaps to clean your car or your stairs? Let me know in the comments section below what you think about the Vax Mojo 2. Don't forget, thumb up, subscribe, share if you want to share this video with anyone who may be interested. You never know, somebody might be. And don't forget, when you subscribe, click the bell icon and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.